Today, I'm going to show you how we can generate images using Stable Diffusion locally with AI agents. And how we're going to do this is we're going to use Hugging Face to get the model. And if you're not used to Hugging Face, they have over 500 that you can use locally to do many different things. But what we're going to go over today is the text to image. And I'm going to show you the Stable Diffusion X. And how we're going to do this is we're going to use Hugging Face to get the model. And if you're not used to Hugging Face, they have over 500,000 models that you can choose from. Popular this trending model is becoming. Uh, I gave it a prompt to give me an astronaut riding a horse in space, and it came up with this. And I also had to create a cat riding a rocket around a big city with a mouse sidekick. The mouse might be in the rocket in the very back. I want to have the user agent give a system message to the assistant agent, which is basically saying, come up with some random image prompt. Then it's going to create that prompt, send it to a function that's going to create the image, and then we're going to get that image back and output it. You can use something like Olama or LM Studio to have a local server to load some text-to-text -text generation model. I'm just going to show you ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, which is super cheap, just so it's quicker for me locally. OK, so now for the coding part. The first thing you need to do is install all the requirements. I'm going to have a requirements.txt file so that all you have to type in in your terminal is pip install dash r requirements dot text and you'll be good to go. Once you have all the imports here, the next thing is we need the API URL and the headers, which I got directly from that hugging face deploy. And because we are going to be using autogen and we're going to have an AI agent, we need an LLM configuration. So we're going to say LLM config is equal to and then we're going to have the config list property which is where we retrieve the config list from JSON, which is over here. We have an OAI config list.json file, and all this has is the model and the API key. Now, if you're going to use something like LM Studio or Olama, you want to put the base URL in here as well. And with Olama, you need the exact model. Then just set the temperature to 0.5, and I just have a seed number so that I can change it easier. And the workflow here is pretty simple. We have two agents. We have an assistant agent with just the name and then the LLM config. If you didn't know this, if you don't have a system message for an assistant agent, that's perfectly OK because it has one by default. If you go in here and click on assistant agent, here is the default system message and the default description. And then for the user agents, uh, I just have the name. We are not actually executing any code, and I never actually need to respond back to the AI agent. And now for the function that's going to do most of the work. For function calling in Autogen, we first need to register the function to the user because the user is going to be the one that actually executes the function. And then we need assistant.register for LLM because the assistant AI agent is going to be the one that is actually talking to the LLM. And now we're going to define a function. So we call it create image. We have a message coming in here, and this message is going to be the prompt once the assistant agent gets it from the LLM. You need to have this annotated object here so that we define the response or the type of message coming in. So it's going to be a string. And we're just going to return a string. Autogen kind of makes it necessary to do this. That's why it, even though we're not really need to re needing to return anything, it's just there so it doesn't complain. And now we have our API call. So we say response equals request dot post. Give it the API URL, the headers, and the message. The response dot content is going to be the image that we're getting back. This random number in this file name variable here, basically what this is doing is this going to give us a random file name so that you don't always have to overwrite it. Then we use the PIL library so that we can take that image and then save it to a file. And then we just return the prompt that the assistant agent got from the LLM. And lastly, we just initiate the chat. All I'm saying here is I want to create a prompt for image generation AI with Mario. Tell it to be creative and the style should be dreamy. And just make sure where I had your token, this is where the bear auth token is going to be placed for you that you got from Hugging Face. OK, and then we're going to come over here to main.py, right click, and just click Run. OK, so the start of the assistant agent uh, got the suggested tool call to create a dreamy image of Mario exploring a magical forest at night with mushrooms and all kinds of other stuff. So now the user proxy agent is going to execute that function with that message that the assistant agent got from the LLM. And then we terminated. And then over here on the left hand side, we have this new file name here with the PNG. Let's see what it looks like. And there you go. You have Mario in some dreamy night theme with mushrooms. The sky is filled with shimmering stars and a large moon casting overhead. OK, awesome. Now what you can do is just change the seed here. Let's change it to 41. And what you'll see here is this doesn't take very long because we're using an inference server to generate the image. If I just had the code to directly uh, have everything done on my local machine, this would take so long. While I'm just talking, it finished, and you see it created a new file name with a random number between 1 and 1 million. We got a different image of Mario. And it looks a little bit like Luigi. He's kind of tall, but oh, I don't know what that is up there. But OK, cool. OK, awesome. We just did our first text to image generation using a free model from Hugging Face. If you have any questions or if you've tried other models that might give you better image generation locally, 
or if you're interested in other models that do different things such as speech recognition, please put them down in the comments and let me know. This is day 10. And from this day, I think for the next four to five days, we're going to be using different models from Hugging Face doing different things. And the goal is we can start integrating all of these things in together, and then we can create this big AI agent workflow to do something that we really want to do. But the first thing is we need to make sure we have all the components and we know how to do each one. So I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of these different things that AI can do. And you don't always have to pay for it. You can do things locally. Thank you for watching. Here are more videos on Autogen. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next video.